What's up guys, this is hatai 7 rct bringing you another video for you guys. Now today I'm going to be doing a video on Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, reason being, even though it's been a long time, I kind of wanted to go back to the game because I, believe it or not, I'm, I'm feeling a bit bad for the game. And this is why I bring it up. I mean, in the beginning, I was super hyped, just like any Marvel vs. Capcom 2 fan. I was super hyped on the game coming out I did the pre-order the whole bundle thing which I usually don't do but I did it on this game because I was super stoked um, because of my fond memories of 2 now I did not play 3 at the time that it came out and it became successful because it was on PlayStation 3 and I didn't own a PlayStation 3 back then and you know didn't have a Vita either so you know anyways the point is uh, even though it got very, very bad press, very bad reviews, and people were casting this dark cloud over the game, many of the things that they were pointing out were true. You know, lack of characters, that the art was pretty bad in the beginning. And the gems system is kind of confusing, but it still does not make the game bad. Now, I'm, I'm doing the video because, aside from showing you guys or reminding you guys why this game got such flack back then I'm here to say today that I think that was blown out of proportion is basically the point of this video uh, reason reason being that I really don't think that it's that bad now I'm gonna be playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Ultimate and then I'm gonna be playing kinda like a comparison so to speak so bear with me guys and uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe for now let's go into the game all right so let's go into the game right away now this one I didn't get a chance to really play extensively as I mentioned um, and even when I did get it for PC I got it at a very good price, but um, really didn't get too much into it. Uh, after like the first few days of trying it out, I never came back to it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and so, to not make this video extremely long. Let's do anything. Arcade, yeah, that'll do fine. Now, of course, it's more than obvious, there are plenty of characters to choose from, and, of course, there is that thing, that <clears throat> Marvel vs. Capcom thing, which is having three characters team up instead of two. So, yeah, <clears throat> that is one point against Infinite, that's for sure. I'm gonna, since there's such disparity in the roster what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and use the same roster for each game just do one play each and then see if I can convince myself and you guys at the same time that the game isn't so bad as a lot of people are making it so okay I'm gonna choose Ryu which is kind of unfair because here I get to pick three instead of two but Okay. Um, who can I pick here that's over there on that side? Uh, Iron Man. Yeah. And let me see who else. basically it because there's no Mega Man here so ah let's pick random fuck it oh no wait ah Deadpool I never miss a chance to use Deadpool let's go for it
Now the cool thing is that at least the art style of this is kind of kind of nice. It reminds me of what was the that Wii Fighter? I forget the name of it, but the cell shade ish kind of comic book feel to it. Which is nice. I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, that was a waste. Aiden, look sharp, play sharp. Uh, it would, I would do a lot better if um, I learned or mastered the controls. But then again, that's me. I choose to make a video about a fighter and I'm using the Xbox One controller when I have an arcade stick. Go figure. Yeah. Let's jump into the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This one gives me a pretty good idea <clears throat> of what I can expect from Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So yeah, let's go into that one. Okay, so we're ready to play Infinite. Let's put it up here real quick. Should be going full screen in a second. There we go. Now, don't get me wrong guys, I did play the game when it came out and I actually felt pretty good as they released the, the, the DLC characters and I actually downloaded and played them all. But again, I, I, I think one of the major things is that Dragon Ball Fighters came out. I mean, to me, that's more of a detriment to this game. The timing for this game to come out was really, really bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm trying to fight an argument that nobody cares about anymore. That much can be true, but... I think this game in the end is not as bad as people make it out to be. So, that being said, let's go. Should I do story or not? Because I not really want to. Let's see if I have. Okay, arcade. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. As you can see, yeah, the roster is pretty slim. And. This is taking into account that all the DLC characters came out, but yeah, in the beginning it was even more slim than this. But onwards. For you, I shall fight. No shit, really. And Iron Man. Iron yeah. Man. Let's bring the party to them. Now the stones is something that's another layer of depth to the game, so in that regard, is really kind of cool. So yeah, this is more, it feels more like Marvel superheroes back in the day in the arcade with the gems and stuff, but it's it's a layer of depth and something that, you know, anybody who's very serious about fighters will, will find it interesting and, and appealing. So, Only one team will be left standing. since I'm not going to be playing it that way, I'm just going to be playing it 
probably very badly. Let's go on with it. You protect the galaxy? Show me how. It's so barbaric to fight with your bare hands. Guns are where it's at. Now, some of the faces of some of the characters were kind of bad, but they did change some of the art. And, damn! Yeah, I gotta get quiet and not talk to get serious. Feels pretty good. That's all I can say. So in the sense of gameplay, I don't think, aside from being two against two instead of three against three, but again, you have the the gems that add a little bit more depth. Why did you waste that? Oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 no. Come on. Holy crap. He is serious. Now you're toast. Gotcha. It was a good fight. Oh, I don't know, guys. It's up in the air. My opinion is that the game is not is not half bad as what a lot of people in the press and a lot of the gamers were claiming in the beginning. Fight. Now, is this the best Marvel vs. Capcom like ever? I really don't know because my favorite still is number two. And I could say that I like this one better than three. But that could be attributed to the fact that, you know, the timing. I, I got Let's to play 3 uh, very late after it had died out, basically. So, Who will come out on top? this is a pretty Ready. damn good game. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I will leave that up to you. Please, guys, if you have a different opinion or if you have anything to add that I might not have covered... Please let me know in the comment section. It's, uh, it's just a conversation that I'm trying to get going with this. So, yeah. This is going to be all for now, guys. Please, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.